So that's that. Right, this needs to go on here. So I'll bend that one. Let's put that behind there. The yellow can dangle down the back. Let's put the ground on first. That goes on there. And then I'm hoping the wires will just sort of settle and shape themselves so that this thing sits neatly on the top forevermore. Now, of course, this meter is going to draw a current permanently. But since this battery is always fed from the solar array, there should always be power in it replenished. Now, let's try that on 12 volts. Yeah, that works. And it says 12.4. So I've got to get the uh, stressing of these cables right so that that meter sits in the right place. I suppose I could stick it down with a bit of blue tack for a while. That flickering is more to do with the uh, camera's frame rate than anything. That looks pretty good, but it's not reading any current yet. Yeah, I don't really want that black wire floating about and touching positive. Otherwise, we're going to get a, a short through there and you won't necessarily melt the black wire it might damage something else so i need to push that away somehow oh dear lots of smoky smoke and i can tell you what happened uh the yellow wire because it's sort of stressed similar to the red wire came around and touched the red wire now we know that the yellow wire is the other side of the current shunt so have I burnt out the current shunt? It is measuring some amps there, but that is going down. I don't really know. Yeah, what took the brunt of that mistake was the connector, not the shunt, because that's pretty big, and also apparently not the PCB, but the connections, I guess, are the highest resistance part. <laughs> and they've gone all black, but it may still work. So I guess what happened is um, there's supposed to be a very tiny voltage between yellow and black and this thing amplifies that voltage and measures it and then displays it. I put a very big voltage, 12 volts, directly across the current shunt. That might have killed the input amplifier, whether it's an op-amp or just in the microcontroller, um, so that it is now no longer measuring that I think will go up when I feed current into the battery. I think it was measuring about half an amp. So yeah, that's lifting the battery voltage, but nothing on the display. I think it's bye bye display. So this, this is a bit of a disaster, really. Let's take this off and have a bit of a look at it. Actually, I suppose fiddling about with high current batteries, there is the potential for things to go very wrong. Yeah, so if we look in there, I'll try and get the camera to focus, actually. There is a lot of blackened stuff around the connector. Let's try and take that off. Oh, it's kind of welded itself on. That's not good. But it's come off. And yeah, there's some nasty charcoal around there well i do have some more of these meters so possibly it's time to just start all over again and not blow the other one up <laughs> this is really interesting all the current of course went through the blackened yellow wires now the red one is still flexible but the black and yellow have gone <laughs> sort of stiff because I guess they were heat treated when that vast current from this quite heavy duty lead acid battery went through these wires. And yeah, they they stay where you put them. The red wire absolutely does not stay where you put it. Heat treated wires. So the question is, am I going to show this video? Do you want to see this video? If you really want to see it, I'll show it. But yeah, I've destroyed that voltmeter. <laughs>